in the area of science and gigantic mysteries pertaining to what was previously before the gigantic explosion, blended conversations and intriguing characters have persisted for quite some time. This enormous doesn't just test how we could decipher the universe, it challenges the actual boundaries beyond which human knowledge extends. Imagine yourself at the brink of existence, investigating the immense, observing and pondering the contents that existed before our universe was envisioned. The Big Bang, as an event, marked the beginning of time, space, and all that we know. In any case were you there a moment earlier in the past. This might have been a state of nothingness, a calm before the beginning of the cosmic gathering. And if this is accurate, maybe there was something much more alarming that existed before the beginning of time. As we dive deeper into the science takes us on a journey past the universe's beginning point into thoughts that challenge our consciousness. Physicist Brian Cox, well known for his investigations into the wonders of the universe, suggests that surprises could have existed before the huge explosion, directing us to reconsider our ideas of reality and existence. In this examination, we'll dissect the science, the speculation, and the dazzling insider information that could explain what happened before everything else. We will explore ideas like self-important development, quantum changes, dark energy, and even the multiverse. The responses might just paralyze you, yet they could also open up new perspectives on our position in the universe. Get ready to dive deep into a world beyond imagination and science, where the obscure still wins around the shadows, leaving scientists flawed and sometimes even upset. We ought to investigate what existed prior to the Big Bang, and the reasons for these theories that test everything we thought we knew. To appreciate what may have existed before the Big Bang, we first need to meticulously examine what the Big Bang truly was. As scientists define it, the Big Bang marks the point in time when the universe became extremely hot and dense, rapidly expanding to cause the growth of all matter, energy, and structure. When we look at the night sky, we see evidence of this explosive beginning in the expansion of all galaxies, moving away in every direction from the origin point. According to the theory of cosmic inflation, there was, and it didn't even resemble a void. The peaceful expansion of a vast universe existed before the Big Bang, a state that was cold, vacant, and basically falling apart like an enormous vacuum. Yet this vacuum wasn't entirely empty. It contained a tremendous amount of energy that fueled the quick extension of space itself, called inflation. This happened so rapidly that, in essence, it established the foundation for everything else. In a fraction of a second, Space expanded at unfathomable rates until the expansion slowed down and the energy transformed into matter, particles, and the forces we now associate with the Big Bang. Did it suddenly grow the universe? Experts think that this immeasurable expansion created patches of the universe, each experiencing its own Big Bang. Imagine a fabric extending endlessly with tiny pockets of air forming here and there, each air pocket representing a universe, including our own. This idea called the inflationary multiverse, suggests that there are possibly limitless Big Bangs and an infinite number of universes. Ours is just one of many. This enormous, perplexing reality challenges our understanding of the universe as a whole, leaving us to inquire about other alternatives to the concept of nothingness before the Big Bang. This idea is speculative, not definitive, according to our current understanding. Even if you eliminate all energy, particles, and radiation from the universe, it still would not be truly empty. Our universe is filled with dark matter, dark energy, quantum fields, and other forces that weave an inevitable tapestry of something. Even in its most vacant state, regardless of whether we can picture removing everything these forces would still create a vacuum. Yet the universe would still generate new kinds of energy. This reality alone is perplexing to experts. It suggests that true nothingness might be impossible within space itself. Our infinite cosmos has properties, rules, and constants that prevent it from being completely empty. Imagine creating a region with literally nothing in it, no particles, no radiation, no energy except quantum fields and basic constants. These would still exist, implying that non-existence still has properties. For example, there's a peculiarity called zero-point energy, which represents the lowest possible energy state of quantum fields. Even in this state, Particles can still momentarily appear and vanish, making a spooky resonance of movement even in what should be empty space. This challenges our concept of a real void and suggests that, yes, even before the Big Bang, something could have existed. Scientists are only beginning to understand one of the most astounding theories in modern cosmology, the chance of timeless expansion. If inflation could cause our universe, 
Could it possibly continue forever? Brian Cox describes an astonishingly vast inflationary multiverse where universes are infinitely produced and ongoing in expansion. Imagine each Big Bang as a flashlight igniting another universe, while different areas continue to experience inflation, making countless other universes. This cycle could theoretically continue indefinitely. The concept of vast universes leads to the fascinating idea of a fractal universe, where every new universe could actually cause its own Big Bang. Each universe exists as a separate, independent domain, not affected by others due to the rapid expansion of space. For researchers, this hypothesis is both exciting and alarming because it suggests a multiverse that never ends with no predetermined beginning or end. Our universe may be just one part of a giant cosmic structure, forever expanding and constantly generating new universes. When we consider quantum field theory, the universe is not just a collection of space-traveling matter, it's a complex network of energy fields that fill the cosmos and connect to create all that we observe. These fields are like invisible oceans, with particles acting as waves or disturbances. Even when fields are at their lowest energy level, known as the vacuum state, they are still active. Particles can appear and disappear in these fields, momentarily obtaining energy before returning it. This phenomenon gives rise to virtual particle substances that exist for a brief time, then vanish, leaving only a trace. The concept of virtual particles challenges the idea of a real void. Imagine a universe where there is no energy, no radiation. Would you have total nothingness according to quantum field theory? In a vacuum, fields would occasionally produce brief particles like a constant motion in the direction of nothing. This suggests that the universe doesn't acknowledge our concept of emptiness. Fields and forces persist, releasing hidden energy into the universe. This difficulty in combining quantum mechanics with general relativity, two of the most successful yet currently incompatible theories in physics, has given rise to fascinating hypotheses about the very fabric of reality and what may have preceded the Big Bang. One leading approach is loop quantum gravity, which posits that space and time are quantized, meaning they come in tiny, indivisible units, much like matter and energy. According to this theory, the universe didn't emerge from a singularity, a point of infinite density and zero volume, but instead bounced from a previous state. This big bounce replaces the traditional Big Bang and implies that a contracting universe preceded ours. Rather than reaching infinite density, the contraction slowed and reversed, leading to a new expansion. This model challenges the idea of a beginning altogether. Instead of creation from nothing, it implies a cyclical process where universes collapse and rebound endlessly, governed by the laws of quantum gravity. Another groundbreaking theory is the holographic principle, which suggests that all the information contained within our three-dimensional universe might actually be encoded on a two-dimensional surface at the outermost observable boundary of the cosmos. If true, this would mean our perception of reality is similar to a hologram, and the actual origin of the universe could lie on this vast cosmic membrane. This idea emerges from studies of black hole thermodynamics, where it was discovered that the entropy a measure of the disorder or information of a black hole is proportional not to its volume, but to the surface area of its event horizon. Some physicists believe that the entire universe could work the same way, with what we see and experience being a projection of more fundamental truths embedded in a distant cosmic boundary. This is taken even further by string theory, which proposes that everything in the universe from particles to forces is made of tiny vibrating strings of energy, and that these strings exist in a multidimensional space, possibly up to 11 dimensions. In this framework, our universe could be a three-dimensional brain, short for membrane, floating in a higher dimensional space. According to brain cosmology, our universe might have been born from the collision of two such brains. These interactions may not happen often, but they are colossal events that unleash enough energy to resemble a big bang. In this framework, there are many possible configurations, each of these strings representing a different set of physical laws. The string landscape could imply that our universe is only one of many, each emerging from its own distinct Big Bang-like event. The existence of such a landscape also brings forth the notion that other universes might have different strengths of gravity, different numbers of dimensions, or even entirely different kinds of matter.